all YouTube fans. Not done this one, and it's a tacit toldy older. I'm going to actually chop it up my face. Yeah, it's a toldy older. That being the Honor Express. Say it again, Honor Express. Starring Leslie Nere, Christopher Lee, and Peter Tussin. Now, I would say it's professing to see them work side by side, but as we all know, who's ever fans of the late Peter Tussin and Christopher Lee, it's not been um, new to see them work side to side that common, as, they, as we all know. They starred in a lot of films to death of. I mean a lot of films. From Frankenstein, as you know the movie I reviewed. Notice of Dracula and so on. But I like this one. I like it. Shot in 1972. On a express. It starts off, as you know, in the answer last, last it, to pronounce the word right, near the North Pole, let's say. And they dig up a fossil man. Like a... Like a body of um, a frozen sort of like a monster and it's funny this because that's an interesting back down story for people that don't know this um it's taken off the book who goes there and anyone that knows the book who goes there it would later as we know during the 50s be made into the film the thing from another world and as we already know in 1982 they did the remake from tom tarpenter the thing that is more faithful to the book. You could say it's sort of like the book mixed in ties to find a fossil man, just like the 50s thing, thing from another world. And it's also another thing that is similar, which I'll get to in a minute. But I actually like this one because this one, do you see the prequel of the thing? They already did it. They already did it. It was in 1972 and it's called Honor Express. Honor Express. And it's a bit of a slow burn. But you know what? You know what? Compared to the shit I did called Alden 4, which was a bore fest, unlike the shit I, I reviewed or ranted, I should say, called Titus 4, which is just a pile of dump, this had some dud actors in it. Unlike Alden fucking 4, why not? I'm on a roll. Pieces of fucking wood for actors. This actually had some good, competent actors in it. And I almost forgot, it even has Taka Afakarus in it. If you pronounce his name right, Taka Afakarus. Right? So again, they find this fossil man. But then on the team, a lot of um, deaths start to happen. A lot of people start dying and getting killed. And everybody they find, the eyes, are actually right. They're right. And the only one out all these people dying. Why is the dog dead with right sock, right eyes and blood dripping out? There's a reason for that. There's a reason, right? The reason is there's another person on the team. It's like an evil spirit, like a monster. A bit like a Frankenstein monster when you do get to see it. It's in like the cold snow and it's a team. All the way through, which is the idea where the film is called Honor Express. I don't like them sort of horror films, you know, it's athletic, it's cold, it's cheapy, it's, you know, it's very nerfing. And I've got to admit, right, I've got to admit, there's some noise downstairs, almost washing up, right, um, I've got to admit that um, if they ever remade this, even though I'm not a love for the remakes, right, I've got to admit that this one, would probably rub off today, you know, in the modern times, because as we know, all of its best is based on the olden times, being typical of your Amar Amarouse, because it's an Amarouse horror film. And um, this is one I would say would rub off today. We have some good actors, a good director, knows how to diet films, and um, you get some good actors, good horror atmosphere. It would probably rub off today as a film, all of express. That's what I like about it. I stood atmosphere that's good atmosphere and it's a slow burn like i say you've got peter tussin you've got Christopher lee and they're working side to side as detectives trying to find out why all these james deaths is happening on the team now we do know that the actor who had these red eyes what i think about joe in the dark with special eye eyelids right with special eyelids and they actually do joe in the dark not making this shit up, they actually draw 
in the dark and it actually hurt the actor's eyes same as any other actor who had these red lid eyes it actually hurt their bloody eyes and there's a bit where all the bodies are dead they start to come back alive and start attacking people <laughs> i'm not making it up they start attacking people and again i do know that with the right eyes they put on look a bit like dead eyes actually like the evil dead films but the the right eyes to put on with bindings and all the actors, even Tracker the Thackeray, when he he gets killed in the film, by the way, but I'll get to that in a minute. When he's walking about, he couldn't see a bloody thing. He had to have a diet to say, go away, go away, you've got to look like you're going to attack um, Peter Tussin, right? They had to arm there, these special right sort eyes to arm make the scene look like he's attacking when he isn't, right? Right? So, yeah. That's how they did the arm scene. So that's it, these bodies are happening, people are getting killed on a train left and right. And um, there's a priest for anywhere, right? There's this guy and the priest is protecting him. This is when Taka of Thackeras comes on the train. And he puts a toss at him like this. And I'm thinking, why the hell are you putting a toss near him? What is this? Taka of Thackeras is a bloody vampire or something. Come on. And it's like funny actually because Tracker of Thackeray gets the toss off him. He says, You're gonna toss me, Papa? Are you gonna toss me? He gets a rip, and it's a bit like the sixth layer rips. You know, remember I mentioned it in um Blood Feast. It's a bit like that. And he's ripping the blood in far for the pit, he's a beast, and he's ripping him. And I'm thinking, bloody hell, what's going on here? Um so Pete. I think it could have been um, I'm not sure now, yeah, I think it, actually, yeah, it could have been Tistafer Lee. He eventually stepped to help him out, but I think, I'm not sure if it's Tistafer Lee or Peter Tussin, one or the other, and one of them stops and says, no, no, don't get involved, right? Long behold, he gets up, but after he has the red eyes, and you get it, what, what happened is, I'm going to edit myself here, right? The monster they found that was frozen up was all cold, right? The monster they dug up, that, for people who may or may not know this, that's the monster. It come alive, it unfolded, and everyone it killed, it turned them into like an evil demon, where they come back, look like they come back from the dead, but it's not. It's an evil demon which took over their body, and they start killing people left, right, and centre. And that's what the film's about. I do know that in the film, it does actually have some cheapy music in it, and no, I'm not going to try and imitate the music. Number one, I'm not very good at whistling. Because that's like a whistling sound on it. So I'm not going to attempt, because I'm pretty shit at whistling. <laughs> but it does have this whistling sort of note. That's a bit of cheapy music all the way through the film on an express. So it's have a cheapy sort of store to it as well. But like I say, it's a slow burn. And you know something else I like about on an express? You want to know something else I like about it? It doesn't have a downbeat fucking ending. Unlike the days or the films, always have a downbeat ending. This doesn't. The chain's about to toss. Peter Tussin and Christopher Lee managed to get out. Get out of dots. The chain tosses. It explodes. Yeah, they're stuck in the knob. But in all fairness, Peter Tussin and Christopher Lee are badasses. We're not even going to get out of it. it the, the chain explodes and they walk off to fight another day. The chain explodes. I can repeat myself. Get that TP store, end of mover, end of mover, and I love it. On an express, it's a good one. And if you like the film, you can actually find it on YouTube. Remastered, proper remastered, on an express from 1972. If you like Hammer Houses, this is one of the Hammer Houses, what is at its best. Same there, at all, as we all know, when um, Sister Valley appeared in Dracula AD, 72 AD. Which, believe me, this is a better film than that. It's a good film. It's an old school film. Again, it's a slow burn, but it's a lot better than some of the shit I've reviewed. So, check it out. All of that's best. 1972. If you ever find it on YouTube, what's it? It's a good one. Into then, I'll see you soon to do some more movies, more reviews. If you like what you see, press that button, subscribe, or leave a nice comment. Into then, I'll see you soon.